All right, so I got to do my due diligence, you feel me? It was a little Nissan Leaf over here. I really don't care about what they was doing. But, you know, I always think somebody tried to set me up. And I might have just found out some amazing shit tonight, you know what I mean? Like... Anyway, I thought it was somebody over here using an ATM. I don't know how many ATMs it is, maybe two or three. I've been forgetting about letting people know where I'm at, but I kind of don't care about it. I think I got so many people riding with me. Like, maybe that's why nobody really fuck with me, because it's just like, y'all be living your life having fun. Be careful what you ask God for, man. I swear to God, be careful what the fuck you ask God for. And why y'all doing what y'all doing, you feel me? Like, being a big-ass family. You know? Y'all be looking... I don't know. But it's all good. Um, you know, just... Saying, you know? Just in case. Another homeless man. Vlogging his life. Not too many people watch, but I think, you know, somehow people watch. And it's just like, nope, nobody watches you. So, you know, with that being said, it's like, man. Phew. Chronicles of a Black Magician. <laughs> Left the rap business. Made some plaques with an unthreatening black image. But that's over. You niggas still ass kissing, catfishing. I remember when I had, what do he say? Visions of pad builders and something, something. Movie going. Lose a couple bars because I don't know every word. It happens like that. If I ever made me a movie and casted it, you wouldn't have to be in this sad, dysfunctional black family, single and sad, and sell crack to act in it or something like that. The crooked and slavery. You sending prayers like Sky did is blessing black people with good behavior. Like, you're a good nigger. You're a good nigger. Here's a gold sticker. And I swear it's people running through my house when they know I ain't home. It be your own people. You don't know what I'm on. Now I do. For sure I do. Chopped it up with Shorty Slim. Said, nigga, pick up the phone. Chopped it up with Tech Nine. Chopped it up with Rocky. Chopped it up with Mmm. Chopped it with the money. Tell me who gonna stop me? Stop. Anyway, I, I forgot, man. That nigga, whoo, that nigga, that nigga was spitting fire on that track, bro. It's, Niggas asleep, bruh. For the ones who awake, who listen to music and really peep what people are saying to you, right? Because, like, there's so many people who listen to Kendrick who, who, one level or another, meaning the beat and the melody, they, they, they catch on to them. Like, it's, it's white people who don't even listen to hip-hop because they got algorithms they can run for words that's being put out, right? They looking at this nigga like, oh shit, what's what's going on here? Like, you know, so. And when I say white people, I just mean the people with a, what is the term here? What would I use? The people with a, oppressive mentality. Let's just go with that. What was I here? Look like some 
spits and blood. Well, got nothing to do with me, but good Lord. This is why sleeping outside sucks so much. Then, what do we have here? Fucking napkin. Then, this trash right here. But, you know. Shit be like that. My whole last seven years, I've been thinking people have been trying to set me up for stuff, man. Like, noodle bowl and shit. I only probably ate one of those hot and spicy with shrimp noodle bowls that I bought it from, I think. Well, where I ate it at. Yeah, I remember all that. I hate shrimp noodles. Hate them. Fucking hate them. I don't eat no seafood. I don't eat shrimp. Like, <clears throat> somebody said, have you ever seen a tilapia fish? I was like, no, I've never, you know. <clears throat> It's a comedian, a black black guy. I forgot his name. They said, no, I've never, you know. Shit stain right there. That's why I'd be tripping when I'd be right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the life of being homeless, people. It's worse than what you think it is. Family didn't turn their back. You know, I can't even go take a shower. I say I fuck with... I wouldn't suggest this for nobody else, but I, for those people who know what I mean when I say the devil, right? Um, I've missed, I, I, it's, it's been there since I was a kid. And it's always been the same thing that the other side was to me. It's been more of a protector for me. It'll teach you some hard lessons, but if you got the fucking drive to go through it, you know, hey. But it's hard to stay pure when you, it, let's just say it's better to find balance and just be ignorant, but not blind. So you can eventually see the way that something is trying to tell you about. Like somebody just rode by and drove, honked their horn. That could have fucking, as far as I know, been the devil, an angel or a God in that fucking car. Like, that's it, boy. That's how you talk about it. It could have been the same entity in that car out of all the ones I, shit, for that matter, it could have been a fallen angel, let's say that. But um, no matter what it was, it could have been telling me somebody outside the building right now. So if anybody is around here, fuck you. When I say if anybody is around here, I mean on the date of 3.41, or excuse me, 3.41 a.m. on the date of Thursday, January 14th. You see, I don't even have to say where I'm at because I'm saying around here. It almost seemed to me by now like the whole world understands who I am. Almost at any fucking notion. Except for these dumbass tethers. They want to act like your family that exists. If I'm not crazy, right? So anyway. Um, um, uh. But you know, instead of that other bullshit that I always be doing while I'm on YouTube, that's also got a purpose. It's like, man, I'm not I'm not always a happy person, man. For the things that I keep telling people that I care about, right? Like, I might have lost some very important things to me in this world as far as what I would have seen as paradise. But then maybe as far as what I see in paradise, Maybe I didn't know. Maybe somebody else has something even bigger and better planned than me. Like, sometimes I be having stuff bigger and better planned than the person in whom I'm talking about. 
and I'm talking spiritually, let's say that, and I'm going to leave that alone. Um, yeah, it seems like the whole world knows that I, I, you know, I don't, like the real me, I don't think I would hurt a fly or a spider or a roach as much as I'm, I, ee, to those, well, not a fly, but, you know, spiders and roaches, ee, rats, damn near, same thing, but I could deal with a rat. That motherfucker could be sick and infested as hell, but if the spirit of that rat is like, damn, this nigga give me cheese, I'm a rock with this nigga right here, I feel safe with him. You fuck around and won't get sick, and people don't understand that. But it's like the Bible, it tells you. It's somewhere in there that every creature will be scared of you. But since the shit, tell you that though at the same time shouldn't you have sense enough in your head to be like okay well that's the notion I'm gonna try to make that not the notion right like in the perfect world this is what would happen instead of fucking markets and stuff you know what I mean you go out in nature and you'd be like you ain't scared of me cow come here I need to eat and feed my family so we can get through the winter I take your two calves and I make sure they grow up a nice life fucking cow can understand what you're saying like, okay, I think that's a fair trade-off. We having a hard winter, too. You know, in the perfect world, it sounds crazy, right? But, you know, just think of how a dog be stray on the street, and motherfucker give it something to eat, and it's like, oh, I think I'll follow you. A little bit different, but quite similar. So anyway, as I was saying, though, motherfuckers just riding down the street honking their horn. No telling who that was in the car. Could have just been a man as well. Somehow tapped into what I'm saying. It's like, mom used to say, glass of water at the door, somebody come asking. Well, you better give it to them. You don't know who that fuck could have been coming to, come to ask you about that shit. You know? And let's just say Jesus in the story about that is like made up, right? Let's just say that. Well, that still don't change the fact that Cause she used to always be like, boy, that could be Jesus or an angel. You know what I mean? Shit, it could be the fucking devil as far as my mind always thought, nigga. This nigga done got out of hell and you're going to be the first nigga to tell this nigga no about a glass of water? You see, shit? Yeah. Niggas, niggas don't be, like, the way I think, niggas don't be getting it, bro. That, that nigga just got out of hell and that's going to be the, you're going to be the first nigga that's going to tell this nigga no for a glass of water. You, you, nigga, you better be the first one to tell his ass yes, nigga. You know what I mean? Nigga got so much goddamn money and, and, and shit that he can just throw your way like right on Pep in here. Whew. Niggas will drive to your house in the morning. Oh, we heard that you worked a job for 30 years and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And we want to just give you a Rolls Royce and a nice fucking big house in Texas and, you know, move to your job and get a, a position in it. Like, damn, it didn't cost nothing but a glass of water. Nigga, and then the water we drinking ain't nothing but shit recirculated and filtered as good as they can filter it. And a motherfucker thank you for letting them drink shit. Like, you know, then it come down to, well, that can't necessarily be the case, can it? Like, even if it was, there gotta be something extra involved in that. It's like, okay, well, your generosity, your giving nature, your humbleness, your willing to serve, you know what I mean? And all you did was serve a glass of water. It wasn't like no hell Hitler and bow down type shit. But, you know, niggas don't look at it like that. Nigga, if it was God, if it was Jesus. Nigga, if it was another fucking man who just walked out the fucking desert, nigga. If your house ain't on the corner, you got to think. Damn, how many houses did this nigga walk past coming out of the motherfucking wilderness to my motherfucking door out of all the doors, nigga? And I just ended up a millionaire, like trips out to yin yang, you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck you get. Nigga, you live in the hood, it could be an extra hundred dollars for a glass of water, and the nigga like, oh, okay, oh shit. But it's those mindsets we gotta have, you know what I mean? Like, I went to the fucking recycling place earlier today. The motherfucker told me. Like, yeah, we still open. Walk past a dude, he say some funny stuff. I say something to him, and he says, he like, he start laughing and shit. And I walk up, I'm like, oh, it's still open. She was like, oh, you, you coming in? 
Oh no, we closed. But that nigga was like positive thoughts, man. When he uh when he said that, I just I kind of kept it pushing. You feel me? Just like fuck it. If I'm here tomorrow, I'm gonna be able to turn this shit in tomorrow. Bring my ass in there a little bit earlier, if not a lot earlier. Get that out the way. Really, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I need to go try to sell somewhere. They could be fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But I think even those go for a certain price. You feel me? It's like... Like, let's say I got 100 of them, right? They all go for a dollar a piece. That's $50. Or 50 cent a piece. That's That's $50. It ain't, you know, like that's that's me getting something major, though. You know what I mean? But it's like, okay, with that 50, what can I do? I can go spend 30, get my license. <clears throat> with that 30, I could do what, you know? Like, God knows. Uh, what else can I do with that shit? Go buy another pair of shoes and put these old Jordans that ain't nowhere near fucked up back on the internet. Get 500 for them. Maybe a nigga from China pay me like twenty five hundred. Go buy me a car. You know what I mean? Thought about that the other night. Shit, I ain't even got another pair of shoes. I could stop wearing these bitches right now and go buy me some paylesses or some ten dollar Walmart time knockoffs or some shit. You know what I mean? And put these bitches on the internet all off my phone. But a nigga be, you know, his mind be in other places. I'd be worried about yelling at people. Worried about their phones being pointed at me. You know what I'm saying? And then earlier today, a motherfucker come by, they point they phone at me. I'm like, you know what? I just seen him point his phone at me. He tried to act like he was, he almost got away with it too. But watch what I'ma do today. So me flip the camera around, had it up here like this, you know what I mean? And they're like, what's up? Yo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, like that nigga certified. He was like, hell yeah. Like what's <laughs> That shit had me, that shit had me rolling though, you know what I'm saying? Like, so then I just kind of stuck with the vibe, you know what I mean? Remember being there too though. So, when I be watching the videos over so, 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 so many times. Around the same time of the year and shit too. It'd be like, oh man. Then, so I'm wondering what happened, like. What do I migrate out here every time around a certain time? And then fuck around and start running back to that same person. And then it's like, you know, reset. And then some shit happened like that time I went to the hospital where they put a nigga asleep and try to erase a nigga memories. Drop a nigga right back into a loop. Some weird shit like that, you know, like mind tricks basically nothing for you to really be fucking scared of just something for you to master and then make one right move at the right time you feel me like probably go fuck with go fuck with the Winslows instead of the you feel me uh, the Urkels freaks and geeks man freaks and geeks uh Or the Cosby's, you feel me, more like that. Man, I ain't go to heal. I ain't one of the Cosby's. <laughs> but that nigga is stupid, dumb, doo-doo dope, bruh. Stupid, dumb, doo-doo dope. Kanye might be the last great white hope. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, look at what he do for us niggas. I'm finna knock out, or I'm finna chill back, y'all, play my little game. Probably have fun doing it. For all my panites out there, right? I love y'all. Y'all beautiful. Y'all some beautiful people, man. <laughs>